morning friends so I guess this is the official start to this vlog but um, the first couple clips that I filmed yesterday was me in New York City with myself <laughs> I actually didn't go down with anybody um, I met up with one of my friends but yeah I went down by myself to pick up my wedding dress so I grabbed a couple clips of that but in general I was carrying my dress and other stuff with me and there was like no no option for holding a camera so anyway Official start to the video, good morning. Um, it's the next day. I'm exhausted because I got home like after 11. It was, the train was kind of delayed and also like it was just a late day getting back. So I'm on my way to work right now. I practically need to put a sweatshirt on. Like I'm actually cold right now. Um, it's rainy. It's just like not a fun day. And <laughs> my mom was like, bring extra clothes today. We're probably doing fence. So we might be putting up temporary fence today. The grass might be wet whatever um it's so funny though because every time I go down to the city I literally don't think twice about moving up here and like spending my day on a farm doing that kind of work so anyway no complaints um but yeah I just wanted to check in with you guys first thing in the morning because that was a weird start to the video how do we feel about the vlogging and driving thing and this is very easy for me because I don't have to hold the camera everything I do I need my hands so that's the hardest part about talking to you guys. But anyway, um, on our way to work, I know there's lots to do. I mean, I practically had the whole day off yesterday, so we'll just see what's in store. Speaking of what's in store, this is like so off topic, but what is everyone's temperature on like the amount of fall stuff that comes out in the beginning of August? Like, I won't even consider tasting or buying anything pumpkin until oops, you guys moved a little bit like I won't even consider tasting or eating anything pumpkin until like at least a little bit into September but the fact that Halloween decorations have been in the store for weeks now like it's August Halloween is end of October am I wrong like it what <laughs> anyway I just think that's so ridiculous and now at first it was just like stores like TJ Maxx and stuff but now it's just everywhere and like can we just have a season for back to school and for like whatever like end of summer stuff like this is like fall doesn't immediately mean Halloween <laughs> I guess it does to everybody but I feel like can we just have like an apple, like a like a gradual transition? I don't, <laughs> I get really depressed when summer is ending. So people are like shoving it down my throat. That's why I'm talking about it. I feel like it's a personal attack. So anyway, that's enough about that. Of course, as I'm saying this, there's also trees that are changing though. Like this one is almost completely colored already. So I have some of this leftover pasta salad from last week at our engagement party that I just kept forgetting to grab out of my fridge. But, I think the pigs will like it. This is what I mean about needing my hands for shit. Like, this is how I gotta carry this out there. Just saying. They're waiting for me. Hi, Oinkers. Just some bow ties. <laughs> He's got a bow tie on his back. I'm sorry, dude. When I was dropping the pasta into their trough, I remembered, because there was tomatoes in the pasta, I remember what I was trying to think of this morning in the car when I was like, can I just enjoy whatever late summer is that I'm trying to remember, like, that transitional part of the season, but, like, normally late summer, like August, I get to enjoy, like, picking sunflowers and tomato season, so... The cherry tomatoes are in there, but I'm really thinking of like tomato sandwiches and BLTs. Like usually I like overdose on those during tomato season and like the tomatoes had just started coming on like a couple days ago. So I'm just feeling like stop shoving pumpkin down my throat. <laughs> just got back in the south house and mom's been stirring two batches of cream this morning and it's like perfect cream. Like this is the best consistency. So I just helped myself to a little bit of that. Mom's having maple butter on toast, which is like the best way to have it. Don't eat my maple butter. I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to eat my own. <laughs> Don't have any. Um, I just thought I really wanted to show you guys this because my dad came in with like a heaping quart of 
He thought they were black raspberries slash black caps, which are just like wild blackberries. They're like smaller blackberries, regardless. He was like, can you make these into ice cream? So I've never made blackberry ice cream, so I'm in the middle of it right now. And I just thought I'd show you what the puree looks like. Because it looks so rich and good. And I can't wait to see what color this ice cream is going to be. Got my custard. Mom is baking patty pan zucchini bread. So basically a patty pan is just another summer squash, but it's white. So it has less color than zucchini, but it's going to taste just like chocolate chip zucchini bread. And I can't wait to eat them. So custard is usually done when you can dip a spoon in it and draw your finger across and it doesn't drip like that. When I'm done with the puree and the ice cream base, they need to chill before I can churn them. So even though it's like misty rainy, it's really humid and warm out. And I think Sam and I are going to go do temporary fence because the cows really need food and we can't just keep feeding them hay in August. So I think that's going to be the next project. So I'm pounding post in right now and I can just tell I'm going to be soaking freaking wet because it has been raining all day and now I'm walking through the brush row but yeah putting post in the cows just really need some more grass so so I knew I was going to see these I've just been keeping an eye out for them but up in just like some of the pasture so here's some of those black caps that I was talking about they're just like wild blackberries so they're kind of tiny but yeah, that's what I'm making ice cream out of. Mm, kind of buggy. <laughs> Yum. There sure is a lot of time to think doing posts. Like this is so brainless. <laughs> also, I need to figure out how to pound with my left arm because I'm just like getting a right arm workout only right now and my arm's getting sore. <laughs> but we're getting there, I'm at the top field. Really misty view, but pretty view. Also, I told y'all I'd be soaked. Like, totally soaked. My feet are squishy. So we ran out of posts where we're putting up the new pasture. So, or the new temporary pasture. So we came to the one that we're taking down just to start taking it down and collecting posts and turns out I am getting a left arm, left arm workout because as I'm walking and pulling them out I'm using my left arm <laughs> anyway so it's just so freaking muggy but that's what we're doing They really want new grass. Cobots! Come on! Cobots! Come on! Cobots! Come on! file should i just do a daily grocery shop from the farm when i leave <laughs> today we have a pork chop and some blueberries <laughs> we just wrapped up um the second day of breakfast i'm sorry i forgot to pick up my camera yesterday we did like 160 people today, um, so yeah, it's pretty. That was a pretty busy day. Um, people love sitting outdoors, and lots of usual, lots of regulars come, and like Sundays start really early because a lot of people come before we open, and they're just always pretty like not hard days, but busy days. So anyway, 
Um, I just fed the pigs and grabbed a couple things and I'm gonna head home because Eric and I have been working on some more home renovations and I just wanna get home and like see how he's doing. Um, we're usually all pretty tired after both breakfasts on the weekend so I know that I left off with the temporary fence when I last talked to you guys and I mean I don't really like to film breakfast itself unless I'm just like showing some clips of food because like I don't know what customers do or don't want to be in footage but definitely a great weekend and I'm gonna pick back up with you guys first thing tomorrow morning um, we have a lot of harvesting to do and those blackberries that I was showing you while I was doing fence like I need to go do a full blackberry sweep up on the hill um, amongst other things but also, this is not for sale, but I just made a batch of blackberry ice cream because my dad requested that I do that because his favorite, one of his favorite flavors of ice cream is black raspberry and the blackberry, like they taste, the black caps, like the wild ones, they taste pretty similar to black raspberries and the ice cream is purple and tastes just as sweet and like strong flavored as black raspberry ice cream. It came out so good, but I don't have a label for it and I only made one batch, so it's really just for the family to eat, but it's so delicious. Ugh. I mean, how can it not be? Like, fresh fruit and local cream and all that. But anyway, I did that right after breakfast today. So anyway, I'm pretty tired and I am, sorry, I'm pretty tired and I need to go get gas because this is just like sad. My gas light's like about to come on. So yeah, gonna go do that and head home. Good morning, friends. So as I mentioned yesterday, um, we have a ton of harvesting to do today, but first things first, of course, is feeding the animals, which all the animals love Mondays because they get any leftover pancakes that we cooked up after breakfast. So these pancakes are heading to the pigs. Gonna let the chickens out because it's a gorgeous day and we'll go from there. I'm not sure if we're gonna start down here or head up to pick blackberries, elderberries, whatnot. We'll see. We're also gonna go up the road and see if we can pick corn. So. Yeah, I'm excited that it's nice out because that makes everything that much more enjoyable. Let's do it. family affair picking yeah, corn this look, morning can you see? no not at all uh maybe the camera can but i can't <laughs> I'm get a okay pretty white but not bad This one's perfect though. Yeah, I found a perfect one too. Honestly, raw corn is like just as good as cooked corn. Mom with the basket. Look at it. Yeah, see how fat that feels like there? Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Here's one that was not quite. The freaking weather, I can't. So, on the drive over here, which we're just up the road, but. It was supposed to be like so sunny all day and then it says that it's going to rain in an hour. 
I need to find the bushel because I can't carry much more. But um, this same this same field, our neighbor has like trail cams up and stuff, and he told us that he saw a bear here like a couple weeks ago. So just walking around waiting for a bear to pop out, but probably not in the middle of the day. <laughs> anyway, not bad. Just a lot of young stuff still, like small stuff. So kind of picking through, trying to find the most mature. We'll see what we end up with. I haven't heard him. I don't know why I find this so romantic. <laughs> oh, he's coming down here! <laughs> My Lincoln farm truck. <laughs> what service? Look at these sunflowers. So now we need to harvest before it rains. So I think we're gonna prioritize lettuce and tomatoes real quick. Hi friends. What? So I think I left off where we were picking corn and I told you guys that we had a million things to harvest and then we got completely rained out for the entire day. Like it was supposed to be totally nice and then there was like two hours that said it was gonna rain. And then it pretty much like heavily rained for most of the day. So I don't know why they can't tell the weather I'm even when it's you. happening. Yeah, like all, just all day. So anyway. I just thought I'd pick up the camera because I left off with the corn and now mom is peeling corn. So um, we're probably going to can most of this. These husks we're saving to go feed the cows with. So that should be fun because they love snacks like that. Um, when we put up temporary fence, we moved them way up on the hill. So they're in a new pasture and we'll have to take this up on the hill probably to give it to them. I haven't seen them, but. Well, I did yeah, we'll go up there, but also we're trying to, like, domesticate the cats. So yeah. they'll come running and have snacks. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, trying to it's a good and bad idea to tame them, only because our cows are completely spoiled. So now they're like, they like sprint towards snacks and moo their heads off. They yeah, they do. do. They have, they have um, we also have this bag of moldy grain that we need to go just like dump up on the hill because maybe... Maybe, some Maybe a wild animal will eat it, but we don't want to give it to the animals. I don't know how it got so moldy, but anyway, so that's first thing this morning. Um, I still have to go feed the pigs, but I was just unloading chicken food that I picked up this morning. And the detour is not over. No, the detour is not over. Mom's obsessed with the detour because she <laughs> hates the traffic. <laughs> I'm almost used to it only because I live on a busy road at home. Anyway, good morning. It's nice and sunny. It's already hot. Actually, I'm really glad that I chose to wear a tank top. So maybe I'll take you guys up to give snacks to the cows and we'll see what happens up on the hill. Anyway, I should make more vinegar when the, while we still have real dill. Oh, just vinegar, vinegar. Yeah, even though I don't really need it, I feel like I should do that. I think this is one that I bit while we were up there. <laughs> and, um... Anyway, so I was going to make the small ones into pickles and the big beets for hash in the freezer. Either way, they can just sit until I'm ready to, after they're done boiling, they can wait until I'm ready to get to them. Okay, we're going to go give the cows these corn husks. See if they like them. I know they will. Hold on your lap. fly down the road before. Oh my god, just so fast. Snacks. The cows are way over in the second field, but 
they're definitely coming. <laughs> Here, do you want to film it? Yep. And I'll just spread this out. Kobosi! Kobos! In a big long line. There's a lot of them. Slow down, you guys. Look at the calves all out in the front. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, they're so pretty. Hi, girls. That's not all of you. Here comes some more. Oh. <laughs> It's like two herds. Holy cow. <laughs> I we have a lot of cows. Yeah. Oh my god, look at all the brave calves. Mm. Hi. Have some snacks. It Come is. on. Go, boss. Mm. I'm having a bite of what's left of some zucchini bread. <laughs> if it's late summer and there's squash, and you're not making zucchini bread, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you're doing summer wrong. You need to make zucchini bread. So anyway, um, snacks for the cows, check. I just harvested a bunch of stuff from the garden, including, oh my God, let me show you guys these. I only picked like a third of the carrots and they are gorgeous. They're gonna look better when I clean them, but they're all like really big. And I'm excited that there's so many more to pick. So, I'm gonna wash those up. And then, actually, I realized that last year I made carrot top pesto. I know you guys are so tired of me talking about pestos, but I'm probably gonna rinse off about half of those carrot tops and make some pesto out of it. And I don't need to show you guys that, but just so you know, you can do that. And I usually add like a little extra flavor of like lemon or mix it with something else, but yeah, I remember that turning out really good. So I'm gonna do that. And I think I'm actually going to wrap up this video here. I feel like I've included a lot of different things and I want to keep filming, but I think I need to start a new video. So I'm not even sure how long this one ended up being, but it doesn't matter. Thank you guys for coming back and watching. Um, I'm trying to get more videos up for you guys because I really enjoy this community. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far into the video, you're awesome. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon for the next one.